In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize and style your category archive page. So currently, if you take a look at our blog page, uh, we didn't add any category here, but if we uh, click on any other single post page, it's displaying the category under the title called uncategorized. If I click uncategorized, the uncategorized page looks like this. If we add category here, let's add some category, go to our all posts and see all of them are uncategorized. And if I click on categories, there is nothing. We can click create a category here. Let's add, let's add travel and then add new category. So inside the travel, there is no post right now. So if I go to all post and quick click and then quick edit and uncategorize, let's add some post into the travel category here. So I have added to three posts inside the travel category. If I go to any of the posts from blog, here you can see the category called travel. If I click travel, the travel category page, if you take a look at the URL, the URL is displaying here category, then travel, the travel category looks like this. So we can change the category uh, page here as well. If I go to the editor, and also uh, make sure inside the source result page you have added or i can copy the source result page from here simply i can copy uh, copy the rule loop so i would like to similar layout uh, like the source result page so that's why i'm going to copy the loop from here and go to the uh, full site editing uh, editor then click on templates and type here archive so if you uh, type archive it will take you to the archive page uh, or the archive section but here you can see I already found the archive and now click on archive and this is the archive title we have to adjust the title spacing here because it's not displaying perfectly go to margin and the margin bottom is 6 em I'm going to add pixel, remove the margin button, add some margin top, 30 pixel, and then remove the query loop from here. So I would like to use my own query loop. Let's add paragraph. and change the group view to inherit from inherit to 1000 pixel and paste the query loop that i have copied from source result page and if you want you can add the category or the post categories here currently it's uncategorized and it's here you can see it's displaying the category and there is an interesting thing when i select row you can see the justification here we can justify the content in this way and it's really helpful we can change the date we can place the date uh, after admin or below admin uh, so we can adjust them in many ways so currently it looks like this and i think it looks better now and we can change in same way we can change uh, the page formatting inside our blog archive page as well if I go to our category page, this is our category called travel category and reload the travel category page. It looks like this. Now we have completed our page and uh, in most cases we have completed everything here based on our requirements. Now if I go to uncategorized page from here, this is uncategorized page and this is our blog page and if we create or add any other new category it will also display the similar way inside the category area and that's very important to understand everything here thank you so much for watching this video